just, if it's Thursday, it's pretty close to Friday, right guys? Come on, let's just live, right guys? Come on. We have a very good show. We're gonna speak to a guy who caught every single Pokemon. How the fuck do you do that? I don't know. I never caught the, all the Pokemons. Plus, we're talking to Amber Mac. Uh, she's gonna be live via Skype, and she's gonna tell you whether or not you're wasting your time on Snapchat. Amber is amazing, uh, and I'm gonna call her in a second. She's writing books and banking, baby. Mm, mm. She walks in the club and she throws those hundos. When Amber goes into the club, tech money, tech money, tech money, tech money, tech money. Right at that ass, right at that ass, right at that ass. Right? That's very, very nice. Shared, shared, shared. Thank you. Thank you all so much for sharing. It means a lot. I mean, it really does. I've, ex I've described the show, was it two days ago? Like a big old beautiful ass, non-gender specific, and all of us are just enjoying that ass. That's what this show is. We're enjoying that ass. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense to you? It makes sense to me. Who's excited for the Olympics? The Rio shit fest. It is going to be a disaster. I bet you there's going to be bodies washing up during the uh, water polo. If you only, if you go to the Olympics and you only get Zika, you're doing okay. Somebody made this for me. The Aldera Olympics, the Rio shit show. Isn't that amazing? This is a beautiful piece of art done by Karina Pohl. And thank you very much, Karina. As you know, all next week on Darren Jones Live, Aldera Olympics, the Rio shit show, it has begun. That's just so beautiful. That's just amazing. So thank you very much for that uh, graphic. I just find that the funniest thing ever. And we're Mac, she's the bomb. That's the Skype button. Hello. Hey, look everyone, it's Amber Mac. Hi. This is amazing. It is amazing. Uh, thanks for asking me to join. I've loved uh, the chat that's going on on your Facebook page. Oh, Amber, you wrote a book called Outsmarting Your Kids Online. You Did you write, really write the book all by yourself? Uh, no, I wrote it with a co-author, so uh, this is my Smart. second book, and uh, this was the first time I wrote a book with someone else, and it was a great experience. Is that your dog? <laughs> I think it is. What's wrong with your dog? <laughs> okay, so my dog is amazing. We adopted him about two years ago, and the only problem is he loves to chase raccoons at night. Those raccoons can have rabies, and they could kill your dog. Just be aware of that. Rusty! Rusty, come! Yeah, bring your dog on the show. This is our daily debate yesterday. The daily debate. It was team Instagram, team Snapchat, or team who gives a fuck. What team are you on, Amber Mack? Okay, so I am uh, definitely on team Instagram. The reason that so many people are flocking to it, to the stories feature, is that it's so easy to use. So they've made the interface really slick, yep. whereas on Snapchat, it's a clumsy mess if you go in there. And I would argue that that's kind of what killed MySpace. And don't get it twisted. Amber <laughs> Holy shit, the dog is getting... What happened? Rusty. What the fuck? He's gonna knock over the light. Rusty, What's... nice dog. <laughs> Amber, what's going on with your dog? He's gone crazy. Where's your dog? Rusty, Rusty, come. Come. Dude, come here. Rusty. I think he doesn't like anyone in our backyard. Any creatures, any living things. Rusty, what? Rest Rusty. Rusty. Woohoo. Here, boy. Woo -hoo. Rusty. Right, can we try something, Amber? I yeah. wonder if I could FaceTime in Sheena. Hang on one second. Let's see. I'm just going to call her out of the right. blue. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Middle of the woods. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, look, look, hang what on. Do you want? Look at this. <laughs> Look at this family affair, everybody. This is amazing. I'm walking on a trail. What is going I on in Hamilton? I'm to get milk for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> so All the people watching in the U.S. are like, what the fuck is that milk in a bag? <laughs> There's like four bags in here, too. What else did you have on the grocery? Look, you're so cheap. You won't even do 10 cents for a plastic bag so you carry it in your hands. Look at cheese slices <laughs> and milk. That's what I went to the damn store for. Oh, I'm okay. It's just that Rusty <laughs> left again, so I'm just Oh, a little there's bit some hurt. joggers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sheena, tell everyone they're live with thousands of people watching right now. Go. With thousands of people. <laughs> okay, I'm hanging up on you, Sheena. I've got more important people to talk to. Okay, I gotta go make grilled cheese and drink some chocolate milk, so we'll catch you later. <laughs> I love you, Sheena. Peace Bye. Out. Can you stick around? Because I want to do another interview. I, I got the guy who caught all the Pokemons waiting to go on with us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so this guy, Roberto Vasquez... So he caught, he's from Toronto, he caught every Pokemon, whatever that means, and so the Toronto Star is writing, everybody's freaking out about this guy. So I, I wrote him on Facebook, I'm like, hey, I'm a journalist, do you want to come on my show? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, sure. Yo, Roberto, what's up? <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? How are you? You're on with Amber Mack and on Darren Jones Live, which I'm sure, this has to be the best media you've done today, am I right? Yeah, for sure. You too? <laughs> I get any better 
<laughs> oh, Amber, why don't you ask a question? You're a tech person. You know what, what's going on. Go ahead. You take over. I know there are people who say that there are kind of hot spots where there are lots of different Pokemon. Did you find that in Toronto where you're based, that there were kind of a, a, a higher concentration of Pokemon in certain areas? Yeah, definitely living in the city gives you those extra perks, you know. If you go to a Toronto Zoo, you can probably catch like 30 of them within like one hour. Oh, okay, how much have you walked? So I walked about like 260, 265 kilometers. Fuck off. No way. Yeah. I don't buy that. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. One of my neighbors, we were talking about Pokemon Go recently, and he doesn't want to play because it killed a lot of your data, which is absolutely ah, true. That's so yeah. you caught all of these different Pokemon. How much data have you used doing so? That's a good question. <laughs> you know what? I, I got an email from uh, from Fido, and I haven't opened it just yet. I'm pretty scared, but uh, I'm pretty sure I went over probably seven gigs. Open the email. There. Do you have the email? Open it up right now. Yeah, open it. Look, he looks like he's going to barf. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> what is it? So, oh. like, the most I pay is about 75 bucks for my monthly bill. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's coming to a total of $303.32. <laughs> <laughs> RobertoVasquez.ca, go there. This man has spent over $350 playing Pokemon Go. Fido should give him a break, don't you think, oh. Amber? I yeah, definitely. But after all the press reaches yeah. out, do you think they'll be good people or are they going to be total a-holes? Yeah, I would definitely call that. If they do give you a break, it's a great story for them as well. So I would push that side of things and, uh, and, and just see what you can do. Are you going Pokemoning tonight? Uh, yeah, definitely after this interview, I'm definitely going to finish it and then just head downtown.